What's up everyone? It's your boy NornRad89 here bringing another ranking video today and keeping in with the fall season and horror Halloween. It's all coming up for sure and this is my favorite time of year. We're going to be talking about one of my favorite franchises in the horror universe of all time, Evil Dead. We're going to be ranking all the franchise films that have been released so far and Oh man, this is quite an enjoyable ride, and this is a really hard one for me to rank because at some point in time in my life, like every one of these films has been my favorite. My bad, I hit that mic. Every one of these films, like for real, has been my favorite or at the top of the list for me at some point in my life. So this is kind of a really hard one for me to rank because if you ask me like a month from now, it might be different from this. But let's get down to this ranking video of all the Evil Dead franchise films. Let's do it. Roll it. So there's four franchise films so far for Evil Dead, and oh man, like none of these films, I can't knock on any of these films. I have a blast with every single one of these films, as I told you in my intro. At some point in my life, one of these films has been my favorite of the franchise. But we're going to kick this off. Of course, there has to be a bottom one. And like I said, this isn't a knock on this film because I really do love this film. But number four for me is going to be Army of Darkness. This is the third film with Bruce Campbell and them tackling Evil Dead and Sam Raimi. And uh, this one is for sure is like the most comical of all the films. <clears throat> and that doesn't bother me at, at, at all, really. Like, I really do love all the comical aspects, the one-liners. I feel like Bruce Campbell is the most comfortable as the Ash character in this film. And like I said, Army of Darkness, like, I'm on for the ride, like, for real, like, in this film. And all the quippy one-liners, all the, like, story stuff, but this one kind of takes more of a fantasy route. And for me, when I was thinking about this list really hardcore... And I love horror films and I love Evil Dead because it's a horror franchise. But I feel like Army of Darkness is the least like a horror film. It's more of a fantasy type film, kind of similar to like Lord of the Rings. There's not a lot of blood in it compared to the other films. And like I said, this one I feel is the least scary out of all the films. It's more com comical for comedy's sake. But I still do have a blast with this film. Like, this is probably like a 7.5 out of 10 in my book. Like, Army of Darkness. I still watch it. I laugh all the time when I see all those quippy one-liners. This is my boomstick! The crazy little, like, CG ghosts, like, that are all kind of like, you know, clay animation stuff. Like, the bad body doubles. Like, oh, man. Like, everything in this film, like, I'm still down for it. And then enjoy it, for sure. Coming in at number three for me is uh, Evil Dead 2. And I know back in the day, before the Evil Dead remake came out, it was kind of like Evil Dead 1 or Evil Dead 2. Like, which one were you a fan of? Like, you know, that kind of person. Because for most horror fans, you're like you're really either a hardcore fan of that first Evil Dead film or the second one. And the second one, I really do like this film. It's probably an 8 out of 10 for me. I have a blast with this movie. It's just for me, if the, the reason I enjoy the first one a little bit better than this film is just because it does like dive into the story really fast. And it's kind of a copycat of that first film. It kind of feels like Sam Raimi. And, you know, Bruce Campbell kind of redoing the first film, but kind of in a different way, taking it on a more insane route. And this one does amp up like the graphics, the gore, everything is amped up to 11 in this film, even like the comedy. There's a little bit of comedy in this film and that first Evil Dead film is more just horror centered. But I still think Evil Dead 2 is a blast for sure. Just for me, it, it's... It goes really fast, and there's some characters in this film that I really don't enjoy. Like, there's that the couple, like, because Bruce Campbell goes there with his girlfriend, and she gets taken, and he's going through all these events. But there's a couple, like, kind of a southern couple that go into, like, come into the mix, and then there's, like, this doctor lady who's looking for somebody. Like, oh, so, like, that, that kind of, when they bring in those characters, I was a little bit bothered. I'm still on for the ride. I still enjoy this movie. Like I said, it's a blast. <laughs> And it amps up all the gore and everything else up to 11. But it's just I have a bigger, better, fun time with that first Evil Dead film. 
And coming in at number two, the runner-up for me is going to be Evil Dead, the first one. After re-watching all these films and binge-watching of them over the past couple weeks, I didn't realize how much I actually enjoyed that first film. And I really do like that first film because it takes its time. And that's the best thing about it, I think, is it just it takes its deliberate time. And I like the five characters that we spend time with in the, in the film. And it feels more scary. Like, I know I do love Sam Raimi's comedy and all the stuff that Bruce Campbell and them decided to add in the other ones. The one-liners, like, they still do land for me. But this first Evil Dead film, even though Bruce Campbell isn't the traditional Ash character that we know him to be in the later films, I still do think this film is a really great horror film. It's very scary, like in essence, like when I saw this film when I was younger, I was actually kind of creeped out by this movie. And as I said, I didn't realize when I rewatched these films how much I did enjoy this first film. And that's why it's great to kind of just re-watch films because you really don't know, like when you're binge-watching movies and going through those films and like, you know, franchises again, which ones are your favorites or which ones you really do like more. And I really did like Evil Dead too. Like I said, that's an 8 out of 10 film for me. Solid horror film. Great A. But this first one, like I said, it just it has those good creepy moments, the vibes, like that smoky look that it has with the moon and all the stuff, even the cheesy like claymation, even the aspects with the dead bodies and like the demons and the girls like and the creepy songs, everything in this first film just lands for me so much better and that's why I had a better time with this film and it lands in at that number two spot. But coming in at number one for me, The Top Dog, and of course there has to be a number one, and it's kind of crazy for a franchise that was started by Sam Raimi and a bunch of other people for Evil Dead, the remake, is my favorite one. This is the quintessential horror film. Everything I want from a horror movie is in this film. It has comedy elements, but it's sprinkled in very nicely. It's a very serious tone. It's got great colorization. It's creepy and disgusting. The body horror. Everything I want in horror movies is in Evil Dead, the remake. That's why it's easily in my top 10 favorite horror films of all time because this movie... I think Fede Alvarez and the like the other creators and all the like the production design people, the cinematographers, everything in this movie is just perfect. I love the design of it, all of it. It just was nailed it so perfectly and like to watch it that it is like that first film, kinda similar, but they do a better job of handling the scary aspects and the comedy aspects and I like the characters in this film, even though we don't get Ash and like of but you can't you can't like duplicate those characters. I think Fede Alvarez knew that you couldn't duplicate Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell like that chemistry that they had together. You just can't duplicate that kind of thing. So they went another route in this film and I think the route they went was perfect. Like I said, this is a slam dunk. This film for me is a 10 out of 10. Like I said, it's in my top 10 favorite horror films of all time, Evil Dead the remake. If you haven't seen it, I totally recommend checking it out because it's so great. It, like I said, is the quintessential horror film because it has everything you want in a horror movie. And that's really why I like horror movies is because they can have everything across the board. They can have drama. They can have scary moments. They can have comical moments. They really do have everything you want in any kind of movie is in a horror movie and everybody loves no regardless of what they think loves being scared and evil dead the remake made me feel on ease and on edge and like er, on edge you know what i mean not easy like you know i wasn't terrified or scared but i was on edge and the scenes are so beautiful and gruesome looking in this remake like i said it was a slam dunk for sure this is still in my top five favorite horror franchises of all all time evil dead is a slam dunk the bomb like if you haven't seen these films you really need to treat yourself and go out and watch these films you know sit with your buddies and sit with your girlfriend or your loved one like it, you'll get a laugh out of these films and also be kind of scared and terrified at the same time and that's the best thing about them Thanks for sticking around with me all for my ranking of the Evil Dead franchise. I hope you all enjoyed this. Like I said, oh, this is in my top five favorite horror franchises. 
in the comments section. Let me know your list of your uh, your ranking. Like I said, this is just my list, my personal opinion. So this isn't the right list. I would love to hear from all of you. And don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. Because I'm going to be having a bunch of horror content coming in the next couple months for sure. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.